What up, Sackers? Big Sack McGee here. How are you doing today? It is Friday, October 21st, and uh, I hope you're all having a great uh, start to your weekend. Um, I have a comparison video for you. I have four gold 50 pesos coins uh, here in front of me. It's funny because when I think back to when I first started stacking, I never imagined I'd be able to own one, much less four, and yet here we are. Um, in my most recent video, I did purchase this one here on the right, and uh, there's some significant differences with this one, and uh, based on some comments, um, I just wanted to th show, do a comparison video so you can kind of see what we're dealing with here. Um, let's see, you know, before we get started, I'll just talk just briefly about these gold 50 pesos. They started minting these in 1921 as a 100-year anniversary of Mexico's independence with Spain. Um, and, of course, this design on this is the same that they used for gold and silver Libertads um, up through, and I, I don't remember the year they changed over the current design. I feel like it was in the 90s. But um, regardless, um, they made, you know, se several hundred thousand. They're, they're bullion coins, right, until they got to the year 1947. And then after that, they have minted, um, let's see here, almost 4 million pieces that are restrikes of the old ones. Um, and they're all still dated 1947, and so they did that between 1949 and 1972, and then they did it again um, in, you know, between 2000 and 2013. Um, and in 1996, they made matte restrikes, which is what I think that is. But let's get started. Let's look at the first one here. All right, now this is actually my second time trying to film this video because the first time my camera settings were making these things look silver, and I think that's a mistake I've done in the past, but this looks gold in the viewfinder to me, and it looks gold in person, so... But here we are, um, and these things are just so nice and weighty in the hand. I've talked about that before. The heaviest coin I've ever felt um, is this. I guess not counting like a 5-ounce America the Beautiful coin, I guess that is, but, but still, it's just a very satisfying feeling. All right. And, of course, you know, with, with some of these, there's... And I don't know how they ship these from the mint, if they're all in a bag, you know, like the old um, silver dollars used to be, but there's definitely scuffs and things like that on these coins. And then on the on the edge, Independ... Independencia... Independencia... E Libertad, Independence and Liberty. And definitely some toning on these, right? All right, that's number one. Let's look at number two. This one looks very similar to the first one. Okay. Same lettering on the side. Now this one, they also did make some proof-like finished coins, and I think I might have one here with this one right here. It's definitely a, a shinier, but not sure if this is, is the proof-like version or not. I'll just show you side by side with the previous one. If you can tell a finish difference, or maybe you're like, nope, that's exactly the same. But it, to, to me, the one on the right definitely has a little more detail and a little bit more reflection. And Okay. Then we come to the fourth one, and this is the one that I, I think is the matte finish. And shout out to a Medio Man um, for leaving the comment that made me think about this. But this one is markedly different from the rest. I think you can tell comparatively that it's just... And the other thing is that this is in amazing condition. Like, there is not a lot of scuffs or marks on this one. Definitely a different look from the previous ones. Now, I did weigh all of these, um, and they all came up. All of them came to 1.34 troy ounces. Um, I use this scale right here. 
Um, and there is, they're 90% gold, 10% copper, and there's 1.2, uh, like 0.5 or something like that, 1.2 ounces of gold, pure gold in these, right? And so they all have the same weight. Um, what's interesting, and before I do that, let me do a side-by-side -side comparison of the one that looks proof-like in the matte finish. I think you're going to see quite a difference here. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Such a difference. Okay, I'm going to show you the reverse. Quite. Oh, let me get my fingers out of the way. Yep. So, definitely think I have the matte finish version, which is a 1996 restrike. Now, they did mint actual 1947 um, 50 pesos, but I, I don't know the way to tell the difference. If anyone, if anyone does, I'd love to hear it in the comments, uh, what exactly, um, how to find that out or what to look for. But uh, something else that's really interesting um, when I looked at these coins is that is the size of the rims. And I mentioned they all weigh the same. They all have the same circumference. You know, when I hold them up, in fact, let me take these three here. And just show you like this. Oh, this is a cool feel. Wouldn't it be amazing to have an entire tube of these gold 50 pesos? Oh, that'd be so cool. Okay, so look at those rim widths here. Okay, now watch this. Look at that. And that's consistent around... And what I noticed, and obviously it looks significantly thicker, when you look at this one by itself, look at the profile here around the side, okay? That rim sticks out a little bit over the rest of the coin, and it does so on the other side as well. So when you hold it up side by side versus another one, look at that difference. Crazy, right? Now, um, I know... This is probably, goes without saying, there's some people that are probably like, well, how do you know that these aren't counterfeit or whatever? Now, number one, they have to have the right um, circumference and the right uh, weight and all that kind of stuff um, to be authentic, and you can easily test that. Um, but also, I only buy from bullion dealers, essentially, with the exception of the one that I traded up. One of these, I, I, took, I took a pile of silver into a coin shop, and they happen to have one of these. And so I did walk out, um, it was probably last year, I think, like that, when the silver and gold ratio had tightened up. Um, so um, just I only buy from trusted sources, we'll put it that way, right? Um, the rest of them I ordered, um, I was making a purchase on on eBay through their bullion dealers when there was eBay bucks promotions. And so every single one of these, there's a $100 rebate that comes back in eBay bucks for purchasing them. They were already the cheapest um, gold that I could find on there. So... Um, it just so worked out that that's, that's what I did. So, um, But again, thrilled with these purchases and amazed at how different they can look. But uh, yeah, this matte one is really cool. Um, for those of you that are also in the same position as I was, in a position where you're like, you know, I don't know that I would ever be able to afford one of these. You just never know. Steady, slow stacking wins the race. And uh, once, once it starts piling up, it, it piles up faster than you think. And you can always, you know, if a coin shop has one, you can take what you already have, especially if you have parts in your stack that you don't like anymore, and walk out with something like this. It's a, it's a really nice upgrade. And I can tell you with that pile of silver and walking out with this, it was uh, significantly less weight to have to worry about with the silver versus gold, right? And I still stack silver, obviously. But, um, you know, when I can find these for good deals, then I definitely take advantage. But, all right, um, that's it for right now. I sure appreciate you watching the video. This is Big Stack McGee, and I hope you all have a fantastic weekend. And uh, right now where I'm at, it is beautiful and sunny out. I hope, the, hope you guys have a nice uh, chance to relax. So take care, and we'll talk to you soon. See ya.